Okay, so here, this is my trigger. This is patterned after the FX triggers, uh, the impact, uh, Dreamline. On the rear, the, the first hole, that's, uh, that's a hole for an M4 grub screw. Uh, that's for the uh, safety. And maybe later I'll show you how to adjust it. The second hole, that's for an M5 uh, thread. Um, the, this is for the second stage uh, spring load, spring loaded uh, grub screw. The third hole, uh, that's an M3 threaded. The fourth hole is an M3 hole and just a hole, no thread. And the last, the one on the right nose, that's, that's threaded for M4. A grub screw. Okay. So the wheel is uh, is bolted through through this side, to the underside. You you'll understand better when when I show you. And here's the sear. Uh, I'm not sure if I can. Okay. Okay. So that's about 19.2. It's, it's kind of small, but it works. It actually works. It's uh, se seven, and the hole is two millimeter diameter. Uh, the reason is uh, it's easy to get pins that are two millimeter in diameter. I, I actually use. Uh, stainless steel welding rods if you remove on the flux on the outside and you can clean that rod off you can cut several pieces to your needed length so that's what i use it's it's two millimeter uh, hole uh, for the two millimeter pins that, that goes through here see i have four and this is the pattern for my trigger it goes right there that's my trigger. What else? Uh, this is my lever. It is on the left side because I'm left-handed. Okay, it looks like that. Maybe I know this. Okay, so there you can see the cocking lever. I have a connecting rod and I have, I have the shuttle sitting here. This is shuttle. Oh, should be right there. Okay. Uh, it, it uses the, that hole as a pin. See? Anyway. Uh, what else? Uh, greetings. I want to show you my completed rifle. It's, it's fully operational. This is some pressure. It's about a little over 10 megapascals. And it's my trigger. Trigger guard. The grip is 3D printed. Okay. My uh, cheek, cheek rest, adjustable in height. And also the butt piece is adjustable. Now, I will disassemble this so I can show you what's inside. I, I need to remove a few screws through here. Then we'll go on the table and show you. Previously, I showed you how I assembled this uh, high pressure half. Now you can see it's bolted together to the the hammer half. This side I call this hammer and trigger. Uh, the hammer is right now. It, you can see it's the what do you call that? The probe is working. 
Now, I, I don't want to lose my pressure. What I'll do is I'll take off those four screws and we can take a look uh, at this hammer side in detail. Here I show you how I'm going to assemble. This is the hammer and trigger assembly. Okay. This two the this goes together. Okay, show you that later. So we have this uh, piece. Uh, I call this a shuttle or probe carrier. So this is a probe. It's a set screw that keeps it in place. I have the spin going all the way through. This spin is four millimeter in diameter. Okay. Now, I have a rubber, it's like a bumper. Uh, I hope you can see that this is an aluminum insert. So this plastic is Delrin or acetal, some call it acetal, or POM, so many names. And I, I have a, an aluminum insert embedded in there and forced in, in forced in place so it won't go anywhere and this the spin goes through that aluminum so all the force the, the force uh, on this uh, probe this will get pushed uh, it's pushed into the aluminum into the spin and finally into the connecting rod I, I want to show you something it goes together like that and again there's a pin, diameter is four millimeter, and that one also, is, that is also four millimeter, but I made it out of brass, because I, this material, this is stainless steel, I, I could not deform it, so I used brass, it seemed to last better, or, well, maybe just as long, but I can expand the, the end by slight amount so it doesn't come out it stays there stays in place now i want to show you something if if you think of this uh, this uh, lever think of that as a crankshaft in a car and this one is a connecting rod and this one is your piston think just for a moment think about it that way now, so some people ask me, how, how do you make it lock? And we're, we're only interested in the locations of the centers of the pins. Okay, take a look. The, the center of this pin and the center of that pin. You'll see that this pin is not in line. It's not aligned. And if I press it, at some point, it goes through the aligned point, then beyond. It goes beyond. So the, then it Place my ruler there. See, it's it's beyond. That's uh, is call it crankshaft. The crankshaft is rotated seven degrees beyond top dead center. Okay, so in a car, if these three points are aligned, we call that situation top dead center. The piston is the highest point you can reach. The connecting rod is there. It's it's all aligned. See, it's all aligned. That's top dead. Now, if you go beyond it, I, I use about eight degrees beyond. No matter how hard you push, because it's locked, it's, it's not going anywhere. It's not going to open by itself. Okay, so that's how you do it. And you see that the rubber is there. Okay, that's the bumper. Provides some. Oh, okay. Okay. So. Here's my trigger assembly. In the drawings, I briefly touched on, on this. Uh, the wheel or the Pac-Man, as we call it. Uh, the steer. The steer is inside. Hold on. Get it out. Okay. Here's my steer. The, the tip of the steer engages the wheel right like that. It keeps it locked, and also notice there's a hole 
square pin the pin the millimeter also the, this a boss for, for this pin so it doesn't go anywhere and like that and this this part of the sear is called the rear part that will engage the hammer when you when, when you cock it it will go like this and you notice as, as you cock it the, the the right part moves up as you like that when you cock your hammer so when when you release it the, the bottom part engages on the on, on the wheel it's not going to go down anymore so the trigger is locked ready to fire and the cutout on the top that, that engages the, the the four millimeter pin like that okay now i am going to put everything back together and and fray and run out of pins. I don't know, I'll get more pins. So this is my sear. With this sear, if you notice, there's, there's a two millimeter hole for a pin. So pivots that way. Now when, when the hammer is cocked, the rear part will engage over there. So when it bumps in that rear part, it raises the front part up. And it gets locked in that position because of this. It, it sits on top of that uh, Pac Man, the, the round thingy with the cutout. Okay. One, one other thing. With the sear, you, you can see there's a boss that's to hold the spin together with, with the hammer. Like so, okay. That's all. And yes, the, the sear goes in, into here. I'll, I'll try and do it. Okay, so I, I got it. It's in place. Okay. Now I, I need to put another pin here. Like that. So I can put on the other pieces. No, I'll need to get some something else. Okay, so now we're gonna assemble this, this, uh, this, this part. Hammer goes in here, like so. Put in the spring. Screw it in slightly, just a few turns, and then now well, so here's my trigger assembly. In the drawings, I briefly touched on on this, uh, the wheel or the Pac-Man, as we call it. Uh, the steer. Here's the side. Hold on. Get out. Okay. Here's my sear. The the tip of the sear engages the wheel like that. So it keeps it locked. And also, notice there's a hole for a pin. The pin two millimeter. Also, there's a boss. For, for the spin, so it doesn't go anywhere, and like that. And this this part of the sear is called the, the rear part. That will engage the hammer when you when, when you cock it. It will go like this. And you notice as, as you cock it, the 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 right part moves up. as you like that. And you cock your hammer. So when when you release it, the, the bottom part engages on the on, on the wheel. 
It's not going to go down anymore. So the trigger is locked, ready to fire. And the scuttle on the top that, that engages the, the, the four millimeter pin. Like that. Okay. Now, I am going to put everything back together. And I'm sure I have enough pins. I wanna, I'll get more pins. Okay, so now we're gonna assemble this, this, uh, this, this part. Hammer goes in here, like so. Put in the spring. And screw it in slightly. Just a few turns. And then now. Uh, okay, so now we're going to put in the safety. This is my safety. Okay. Diameter is 6.35, uh, 1 fourth inch. And with a cutout, it's 4.7. There's a cutout so you can depress the trigger. If it's here, you cannot depress the trigger. If it's here, you can. You understand, right? I'll show you. Okay, it goes in on this side. Yeah, into that hole. Like this. in and it's also cut it's cut almost there so since it's cut I can press the trigger now it's gonna fire cut again see fire again Now, it's now ready for assembly. Put it back here on the back side. Yeah. When you attach it, it's easier if you have this rifle cock. That way, the, the hammer's not going to rest in the spring. It's easier that way. See? Just put it on safe so it doesn't fire. Yeah. It's on safe now. I can assemble. Uh, like so, like this. And four screws goes in, in, into there. Like that. I don't need to show you that anymore. Okay, so it's back together, bolted on together. And it can now go onto the stock. This stock is really just wood painted, so it looks a little bit nice, like so. It slides in like that, goes in like that, so seated, and it's held in place by this bolt, and there are, let me tighten this carefully. No, that's not good.